They're here. I'll be there in a minute. Clarence! I hear you. Probably just those punks who broke into Tibbet's house last Halloween. Not here. believe it. Oh, it's big, isn't it? Yep. It's definitely not built to code. How many generations of your family lived here? I don't know. this place. Wow. Looks like something's missing.
Great. I thought the electricity was supposed to be on, Jesse. Yeah, it is. Uh, the switch must be out. Is there a phone in here? Great. John Statman, please. Hello? John, hi, it's Kate. Hey. Sorry I couldn't call you earlier. The car phone doesn't work out here. Well, it's a pit, but Jesse's completely in love with it, of course. <laughs> How'd the meeting go? Is he interested? No. Great, you know, we could have had him recording in the studio by early next month. Well, I don't know. We've got to find somebody fast. Did you go see that new band down from Iris Club? Yeah, they come from a raw energy, don't you think? You're absolutely right. Hey, did you get that letter from I don't believe it. Well, they really need someone to That's my mom and dad. Yeah, it was pretty cute. That was my grandfather. So he must have been my great, great grandfather. Jesse McLaughlin, they named me after him. I couldn't sleep, so I went downstairs to just look around. What is that? Yo! Yo, you did it! But I don't do it. Oh, my God. person I know has ever been famous, huh? Hardly famous, Charlie. Nobody reads this magazine. Oh, well, you know, I, I mean, I have to admit, I don't look at the pictures. I only read it for the interviews. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you I... <laughs> Hey, look at this couch. Nice and comfortable. I'm better. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm her manager. <laughs> uh, Kate, I'm 
feel compelled to tell you, we are weighing several offers from some big producers, but to drop names would be tacky. <laughs> but you don't have a contract yet. I mean, you haven't signed anything yet, have you? Yeah. Oh, no! We don't believe in success. Yeah, we, we want to make a lot of money and be real famous, but, but no success. No, there's a very subtle difference, you know. John, okay, I've got to get back on. to you. I think I may have found what we're looking for. Sweet sensation. Ow! Sweet vibration. They're different. This one's got jewels in its eyes. They're not the same skull. Hey, Jeff, what you doing there, huh? <laughs> Come on, Charlie, give it. It's uh, private. Hey, this is cool. Looks like it's old. What is it? Come on, Charlie, give it. No, 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 nothing. Tell you, tell me what it is. It's nothing. I promise you won't laugh. Yeah? You'll never believe me. Well, sure, I will. Here, okay, here, take it. All right. See this guy? It's my great-great-grandfather. He has the same name as me. He was an outlaw in the Old West. Okay, okay. I'll buy that. Yeah, look at this skull he's holding. It's made completely out of rock crystal. And this guy in the background, this is Jesse's partner, Slim Reezer. Uh-uh. Now, he and Jesse had a falling out over the skull and became bitter enemies. Swim died without ever getting the skull from Jesse. All right, now, look at this. You see the skull? And now it's different from the one here in the book, right? I mean, this wait, one has got jewels in the eyes. Wait, wait a minute. But, listen to this. Okay, um, all right. Legend has it that there was a second skull that had untold powers that could unlock the mysteries of the universe and bring eternal life to those who possessed it. So... Question is, if this is the legendary second skull, where is it? Uh, why are you asking me? I mean, how am I supposed to know? Charlie, Charlie, um, there's an old cemetery up on the hill. Jesse was buried there in 1916. Now look here, it says that when the Aztecs buried their dead, they wrapped the bodies in several layers of cloth, and they surrounded them with their weapons and jewels. It was worth millions, was it? A lot. Yeah. I say, let's go for it. There's nothing down here. <sighs> Let's quit. I don't care. If all the money in the world is down here, I just want some sleep. I'm really tired. Charlie. Huh? You got it. Oh, no. No. Charlie! I give up. I can't listen to this thing. Please, let me do it. Please. Yeah. <laughs> 
with me, boy. Uh, 1986. October 30th, 1986. God damn. You know, I've been waiting over 70 years for some jackass to get the sense to come dig me up. <laughs> Thank you, boy. There she is. There's something special about this old house. Can't you feel it? I can. Let's go this way. Remember, boys, this house is a temple, as fantastic as any pyramid or castle you'll ever see. It don't know time or space or any of that hogwash, but the forces of evil are always after this skull, and you've got to help me to protect it. So don't let no one touch the dang thing, you hear? You can sleep on this. Is this the way you treat family? Uh, uh, making them hide down in the basement like some slimy old lizard? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I must be out of practice. I don't have any family, sir. Don't call me, sir. I ain't no politician. Heck, I'm your great-great-grandfather. You can call me Gramps. That's what your granddaddy used to call me. All right. Gramps. Well, uh, we better hit the hay. But I'm not tired. <laughs> I don't need no sleep. Well, let's get me cleaned up, and then we can go out on the town and do a little high stepping. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why not? There's nothing wrong with me. Uh, no, there's nothing wrong with you. Well, something's bothering you. I can see it in your eyes. Look, I, I'm just as fit as a fiddle. I'm... Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I'm supposed to be young again. Uh, Gramps, uh, maybe you should... Look at me. I'm a hundred and seventy year old fart. A goddamn zombie. Uh, well, um, you look really good for a hundred and seventy year old zombie. Gramps, really great. Well, I ain't gonna die if it's the last thing I do.
What in tar nation is it? Gramps, this is a 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider. Zero to 60, 7.3 seconds. beautiful lady informed me that she's found the Madonna of the 80s. I thought I'd better come by and check it out. Hey, I thought Madonna was the Madonna of the 80s, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Who's your friend, Bozo the Clown? No, Bozo the Death Machine. Uh, Charlie, Charlie, this is John Statman, Kate's boss. He's the president of Heretic Records. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, John Statman. Course. <laughs> this is really a pleasure. I'm really happy to meet you. Charlie Coriel, manager of Puce Glitz and the Avoid. Kate! Ta da! Here she is. Great. You have the tape? Where are you going? We're doing lunch. John made a special trip out here to meet Lana and listen to her demo tape. <laughs> See you later, Jesse. <laughs> Keep coming and coming and coming. <laughs> Where the hell are they all coming from, anyhow? <laughs> hey, I broke it. Oh, Risky Gramps. Thanks. I hate this doggone box. I like this restaurant. Got all them channels and got nothing interesting to watch. Well, there I was, right out in the middle of campus, facing 500 crazy fanatics, heavily armed. And me with only 15 soldiers. Now, now you take this Ronald Reagan fellow. What did you do? He sure is a pansy. He wouldn't have lasted 10 minutes back in the old days. My dear young lady, there comes a time in every soldier's life when he must stand or fall alone. And if you knew the army, you'd understand that he... It wouldn't do no good to tell you how it was. You had to be there. In all them movies and books and crap, they don't tell you how it really was. It was rough. Well, I got a question for you. Whatever happened to Slim Reezer? Slim Reezer ain't part of my vocabulary no more, son. Uh, we, we had a disagreement about who the skull belonged to. What did you do? I, I shot the scallywag is what I did. Well, he took a shot at me first, so I had to teach him a lesson. And I left him to die in the Mojave Desert. 
And that was that? Yeah, well, that was that. Uh, uh, Gramps, did you ever rob a stagecoach? Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I robbed a stagecoach once, uh, just outside of Dodge City. Now, every day at about 5.30, it used to come into the bank with a bag of money that would give an elephant a hernia. We set up on both sides of a little gorge just outside of town. And when the stagecoach come on through, 50 we had over. And they chased me around them hills and clean across the border into Arizona territory. When I was arriving for about Two weeks without ever getting out of the saddle, trying to lose them fellers. <laughs> I hold the off with just two points and a Winchester. And all of a sudden, I take an arrow right through the leg, right there. Right. And another one just under the shoulder, oh, right there. The caves were never uncovered again. And there must have been a billion dollars in diamonds and jewels down. Now, that's something I intend to search for just as soon as I get rejuvenated. Shh. What? I hear something. Yeah, it sounds like music. What time is it? Uh, bring back some more beer. Get up here. We can relax. It's Halloween. He blends right in. All right, Gramps, go for it, pal. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Wait. Hey, I'm Susan. Isn't he great? Yeah, he, he's an old friend from way back.
talk to you? Out and back? Sure. I'll meet you there. Okie dokie. suitcase and head for Panama. There's a jungle in there. Hey, get you something, dear water. Valium. Get me Valium. Yeah. Whiskey. Get me whiskey. I need the skull. Without it, I'm a goner for sure. Don't let him get away. Cramps, there's a jungle upstairs. He took it in there. He's from the Stone Age, kid. You gotta stop him. Don't worry, he's a pushover. Cramps, I don't think you understand. There is a jungle. Jesse, in the wrong hands, that skull could cause trouble. Now go. Don't sneak up behind me like that. Well, just happen to have this in the trunk of the car. Uh, you never know when you're going to need one in a pinch, huh? <laughs> what is it? This is an Uzi semi-automatic firing weapon. Charlie, this is a machine gun. So? So? So, what about me? What do I get? I only had the one Uzi, you know. But, uh, I got one of these. What do I do with this? Light cigars? No, you shoot people with it. Duh. Okay. <clears throat> On the count of three, you're going to kick the door open, run in there blindly, and I'll cover you, okay? <clears throat> Guy with the big gun goes first. Okay. Ready? One. One. Two. Two. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> One, two, three. Sure, you're not dreaming.
Charlie. Nobody's home. What do we do? We need a plan. Yeah, let's get the skull and get the hell out of here. Good plan. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> <Shut> up, please. <laughs> Thank you, best shit. Fall, you'll die real fast. Thanks, Charlie. Bird. Ah! 
Nice birdie. Didn't you use the stairs? Charlie. Charlie, all right? I guess. Can, can we keep him? Well, who's going to take care of him, Charlie? I'll feed him, change his water and stuff. commodity to find in our business, really. Look at this shirt. Is this great? Is yeah. this him? Well, you know, the bananas. Oh, bananas. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Well, where's the beer? What are you doing out here? Quick! Somebody's coming. Got they go all the way stopped. around well, the back. You got, you know what? Uh, ah. Hi, John. Hi, buddy. What's cooking in the kitchen? Nothing. No? And what might be in that closet there? Nothing. Nothing. Well, can I see? John. 
I just told you there's nothing in the closet. Well, let me see nothing in the closet. It uh, wouldn't happen to be your old friend Rochelle in there, would it? John, what is it you are accusing me of in my own house? I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just asking a question. But I do think Kate would like an explanation. You want an explanation? All right. All right, I'll give you an explanation. Kate, What's Kate, get in here. here. Kate, I need to talk Why to you. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. Now, Kate, you know that since we got here, there's been some strange things going on in this house. So, uh, Charlie, Char they want an explanation. I'm going to give them one. All right, now listen. All right, now, Charlie and I, last night, went to the cemetery, and we dug up my great-great-grandfather's grave. Because we were looking for a, a crystal skull. It's supposed to be magic. Anyway, we dug it up, and we got the skull, but we also found my great-great-grandfather. He's dead, but, but he's alive. I mean, he's a mummy, and, and we brought him back, and he's been staying in the basement. And, and Charlie and I have just been running through this jungle trying to get the skull back. And that's who's in there for your information, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Hi, Rochelle. What are you doing in here? There's been a mistake. Apparently. Uh, you don't understand. I understand perfectly. No, Kate, listen to me. I, I have no idea what she was doing in there. Well, who did you think was in there? A mummy. Or maybe even a baby pterodactyl. Shame on you, Jesse. Look, it's a prehistoric bird. Kate! Here, let me get this from you. Good riddance out of here. Now we can do whatever we want. We'll run around our underwear. Phony phone calls. That's a creep. Shut up, Charlie. Can't you shut your mouth just once? Surprise, Gramps. Where's Rochelle? Watch this. Jesse. <laughs> Louise, who long for you? Uh, Rochelle, it's, it's great to see you, but I, I'm having some family problems right now. You understand? Hey, Charlie, can you call Rochelle a cab? Hey, Chucky. Hey, don't call me Chucky, okay? <clears throat> it's very sweet of you to come. Hey there, Bertie. How about a little trade, huh? Okay. I, I think he wants some more. I don't have any more steak. <laughs> Now, I know that smells good. I know it smells good. Teddy's going to have it ready right away. Right away. That's a fact. Yep, yep, yep. I know. I know. Daddy knows. Daddy, now open your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gramps, I'm sorry I yelled at you. You got me a little upset. I, I would just happen to play a joke on somebody. And... I'm sorry it turned out to be you. That's enough, Bippy. Bippy, Bippy, that's enough. Bippy. Bippy. Oh, now look, just go on out and play. That's it. There you go. Um, Gramps, look, I gotta get to bed. Do you want me to put the skull back in the fireplace? No, I'll, I'll take care of that.
Bippy. You little <laughs> rascal. <laughs> you scared the bejesus out of me. Are you all right? They bushwhacked me. It must have been 30, 40 of them. They come at me from all directions. Charlie, get up. Charlie, come on. Charlie. Charlie, wake up. Get up. Charlie, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Charlie, come on. Charlie. Charlie, get up. This has better be real important. Gramps lost the skull. Hey, what? Somebody, I don't know who stole it. He's dying, Charlie. We gotta get it back. After all we did for him, he loses it? I can't believe he did that, Jess. I mean, I, I've never met anyone so irresponsible. You know, I risk my Charlie. life. Charlie! Uh, Bill, Bill Towner, electrician. Uh, Jesse McLaughlin. Nice to meet you, Jesse. A young lady called, said you needed some work done. She did, huh? Oh, uh, right. What is uh, the fuse box down there in the basement? Uh, listen, Bill, um, I I'm sorry to trouble you, but this really isn't the right time. Hey, uh, it's all right, Jess. I'm not going to get in your way. You just uh, show me what needs fixing. This is quite a room you got here. Yeah, very, very nice. <laughs> it's a weird fireplace, though. Yeah, uh, Bill? Uh, uh, so uh Bill. What do we got in here? Ah, there it is. Fremont 240. These old houses are loaded with them. So, uh, this the room you're having problems here with, Jess? Uh, yeah, all along this wall, uh, but the rest of the house is fine. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that, Jess. It didn't look too valuable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just as I had expected. Jess, you got a problem here. But, uh, hey, like with any problem, you know, you don't want to let it get the best of you. You know, I've been working on these houses for about 20 years now, and... I've seen enough tragedy and disaster to make you want to upchuck in your shorts. You see, these old houses, they, uh, they just got minds of their own, you know, and you, you just got to teach them who's boss. You know, sort of give them a spanking. Huh? Must be foreign made. Well, I'm going to fix this old house up for you, Jess. Just like it's brand spanking new. What is that? Shh. always made my adenoids curdle. Oh, hey, don't monkey with those switches, Jess. that will blow us both to Milwaukee. Uh, it's touch and go from here, pal. Could go either way, Jess. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jess. Want to uh, step into my office here for a second? Listen, buddy, uh, I like to be alone with my work, so if you don't mind... You got something to do? J sure. Go do it, buddy. Go do it. Go do it. <laughs> nice kid. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oops. Gramps said they weren't here, so don't wimp out on Hey, buddy! Oh, scared you, huh? Relax. Oh, God, Bill, are you all right? Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Who is this? Uh, Bill. Bill Towner, electrician? Charlie Coriel, entrepreneur. Yeah, uh, uh, listen, fellas, we got a little problem in the other room. I think you better come have a look. Uh, look, Bill, I I'm sorry, but this really isn't a good time. Why don't you pack it up and come back tomorrow? I and... think we better go in the other room and have a look. Well, there it is. Looks like you got some kind of alternate universe in there or something. Thanks. Come on, Charlie. Guess I'm next. You just turn these spiders in there because you know I'm really coming, Charlie. Yeah, I don't know you guys. Look, that's an alternate dimension in there or something, and uh, incredible. Well, hold on a second, will you? Uh, uh, I've been through this kind of thing before. But don't touch anything till I get there. Looks like you're gonna need the help of a professional. You got a flashlight? Yeah. You know something? I'm incredibly scared right now. Don't be a fag, okay? Shh. Listen. I think it's coming from over there. There it is. Yep. Mushi, mushi, mushi. Well, it's going to be easy. They're not going to sacrifice you, are they? Hey, just now, now, is she a virgin? Because I've never seen one of them, She's really mad at me. Hey! No! No! Oh, boy. Hi. Well, hey, hey, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, well, I'm sorry. We, we thought that she was somebody that we knew. Go ahead, enjoy. It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I started to get a little concerned here. Hey, hey, Bill, what are you doing you here? You know, you guys throw one heck of a party, and uh, I'd really like to thank you for inviting me along. Uh, uh, Jess, it's been a pleasure. Uh, and Miss, uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, and uh, Jess, listen, if you need any more work done, just give me a call there, huh? Take care, Charlie. See ya. Who was that man? Tell them we're starving. You know, I've been watching her, and she really likes you. Seriously, she likes you. Come on, Charlie. Huh, I'm serious. Watch. Who do you like better, me or him? Me, Charlie, fun, you know, crazy guy, nut, <laughs> or him. Everybody's hungry. Uh, Digging while it's hot. Uh, Jess, uh, shouldn't we say grace? You know, say a few nice words about God or whoever. Um. Oh, all right. Uh, I guess I'd just like to thank everyone for their special contribution to the meal, and to say that I guess I, I think of all of you as. It's all my my family now. That was well put, son. Now let's eat. up with me sooner or later.
God. Charlie! Get up, get up! What's up, Eddie? Sheriff, we got a crazy in there, shooting up the whole neighborhood. The old McLaughlin place. That's right. We just found out who owns the place. Jesse McLaughlin. It's old Clarence's son. Just moved in a couple of days ago. Clarence's right, son? Yeah. He's yeah, moving out tonight. Let me talk to that sucker. What's his name was? Jesse. Jesse? You got the place around him. Why don't you come out peacefully and give yourself up? Hold your fire! 
Did you blow his head off? <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> I thought for sure he'd he'd kick your ass. <laughs> But I didn't let on, though, did I, son? <laughs> no, you didn't, Grants. <laughs> this is it, kid. And you're not gonna die. The skull's right here. Oh, it don't make no difference no more, son. I've done all I can do in this world. <laughs> and it's time to move on. No, no, don't. <laughs> you get what you want from this old skull. <laughs> I got something real special. I got to meet my great, great grandson. <laughs> And had a hell of a time. You figure what you want. You did get rid of the goddamn thing. Come on. Come on, Gramps. Hold on. Hold on, Gramps. I love you, Gramps. I love you too, Jesse. Jesse, this is your last chance. Come out with your hands up. I'm going to count to ten, and they were coming in firing. One, two, three, four, five. 